February 2021 is looking like one of the biggest and best months that I've seen for the Nintendo Switch in quite some time and in today's video I'm going to go over 32 awesome games coming to the Switch in February 2021 so let's go ahead and jump right in. On February 1st, we have a game called Glyph, releasing digitally only for $19.99. Glyph is an open-world 3D platformer where you are on a quest to restore the ancient temple city. There are over 80 levels across several hours of gameplay with hundreds of rewards as you master the game and unlock cosmetics. The levels are expansive and non-linear and full of puzzles to solve, traps to avoid, and enemies to defeat while you jump, glide, and slam your way through the game while collecting coins, gems, keys, and scarabs to progress. Glyph is a very interesting and fun-looking game and you can check it out when it releases on February 1st. Next up on February 2nd is Apex Legends, which is going to be free to play, releasing digitally only. The award-winning free-to-play team-based battle royale is finally coming to the Switch. There is a large roster of characters to choose from, each with their own strengths and abilities, enabling you to build different types of teams with other players. Just like any battle royale, there is a ton of loot to find, including powerful weapons, attachments, and armor, and you will be unlocking plenty of cosmetics as you play. Apex Legends is a very fast-paced and smooth battle royale game and you can play it for free when it releases on February 2nd. Next up on February 3rd is a game called Habroxia 2, releasing digitally only for $9.99. Habroxia 2 is a badass looking 2D shoot 'em up with several cool features. It is a non-linear old school style shooter where you get to choose your own path through branching levels and customize your ship with 64 different upgrades. There are horizontal and vertical shooting levels with over 20 bosses as well as a new game plus, boost rush mode, and boss rush mode. If you're a fan of the shoot 'em up genre, then you've got to check out Habroxia when it releases on February 3rd. Next up on February 4th is Odysseus Cosmos and his Robot Quest releasing digitally only for $14.99. Odysseus Cosmos and his Robot Quest is a pixel art point and click adventure game inspired by classics from the 90s and you take on the role of Adi and his Robot Quest as you work together to maintain the ship. You will be exploring the massive ship, solving logic puzzles and brain teasers, and experiencing plot twists through the five episode adventure full of witty characters. Fans of point and click games get ready for when Odysseus Cosmos and his Robot Quest releases on February 4th. Also on February 4th is an awesome looking game called Blue Fire releasing digitally only for $20. Blue Fire is an incredibly badass looking 3D platforming action adventure game where you go on a journey through the mysterious kingdom of Penumbra. You will be exploring large areas full of dangerous enemies and boss fights, difficult platforming challenges, quests to complete, collectibles to find, and more. The combat is intense and as you play and explore you will be upgrading your sword and equipment as well as finding amulets that grant you new abilities. Blue Fire looks to be a very polished and fun game with some slight Zelda vibes and I cannot wait to play it when it releases on February 4th. Again on February 4th is Skyforge releasing digitally only and it will be free to play. Skyforge is a free to play MMO action RPG that takes place in the world of Aelion as you play as an immortal with celestial powers and team up with other players online to explore and defend the universe. The intuitive combat system features powerful attacks unique to the 18 different classes and you have unlockable divine forms as well. You can switch between the 18 classes to match your preferred playstyle or help with a particular mission and Skyforge features free updates and limited time seasonal events to partake in. If you are looking for a fun and free to play game to dig into then Skyforge may be worth checking out when it releases on the Switch on February 4th. Yet again on February 4th is a game called Conarium, releasing digitally only for $19.99. Conarium is a first person horror mystery game inspired by HP Lovecraft. It is about four scientists who are testing the limits of nature at an Antarctic base that you will explore to examine clues, find secrets, and avoid the horrors. There are a ton of secrets to find. The game features Unreal Engine 4 graphics, multiple endings, and an atmospheric soundtrack. If you are looking for a creepy game to play, then Conarium might be the game for you when it releases on February 4th. Once again on February 4th is Grey Skies A War of the Worlds Story releasing digitally only for $14.99. Grey Skies A War of the Worlds Story is a single player stealth adventure game where you are trying to survive the Martian invasion and the story is based on the popular H.G. Wells novel. You will be sneaking and crafting throwables to take out your enemies as well as trying to trick the humans that are under Martian influence and you can also use the environment to your advantage. Grey Skies A War of the Worlds Story looks like a pretty interesting game and you can check it out when it releases on February 4th. 
Next up is a game called Hero U Rogue to Redemption, releasing on February 9th, digitally only for $19.99. Hero U Rogue to Redemption is a funny fantasy role-playing adventure game that is very story and character driven. It features skills, equipments, and tactical turn-based combat, and it is highly replayable with thousands of choices and story variations. Hero U features a seamless blend of humor and story, as well as many games and stealth sections. Hero U Rogue to Redemption is a game for role-playing enthusiasts, and you can give it a try when it releases on February 9th. Next up is The Flower Collectors, releasing on February 11th, digitally only for $19.99, and there is a demo available on the eShop. The Flower Collectors is a detective murder mystery game that takes place in Barcelona in 1977 as you take on the role of an ex-cop in a wheelchair that teams up with a journalist to find the truth. You play the game from your balcony as you use your binoculars, camera, and transmitter to spy on your neighborhood to uncover clues and try to solve the mystery of who committed the murder. If you're looking for a nice little murder mystery game with a twist, then check out The Flower Collectors when it releases on February 11th. Also on February 11th is a game called A Ground, releasing digitally only for $14.99. A Ground is a 2D survival mining and crafting RPG similar to Terraria and Minecraft in some ways, and you take on the role of a human survivor stranded on an island trying to survive. You will be exploring, crafting, building, and mining as well as meeting NPCs, unlocking technology, and even magic. There's so much to discover underground as you mine, leading to a constant state of progression. Here are just a few additional things you can do in a ground. Go on quests, fight enemies and bosses, farm, cook, ride vehicles, level up, fish, and so much more. Considering Terraria is one of my favorite games of all time, a ground looks like a game that will be right up my alley and I cannot wait to play it when it releases on February 11th. Also on February 11th is a game called Tri-6 Infinite releasing digitally only for $7.99. Tri-6 Infinite is a super fast paced endless runner racing game hybrid where you try to avoid obstacles for as long as possible. You will be racing through procedurally generated tracks with over 300 different obstacles that get harder every lap as you try to survive as long as possible and top the leaderboards. There are 11 unlockable power-ups that can help you survive longer by destroying obstacles and buffing your vehicle. You can also play locally with up to 4 players and utilize power-ups against them. Tri-6 Infinite has my attention as I like the idea of an endless racing game where you are trying to survive and at $7.99 I'll likely check it out when it releases on February 11th. Next up on February 11th is Little Nightmares 2, releasing digitally for $29.99 and physically for $39.99, and there is currently a demo available on the eShop. Little Nightmares 2 is the sequel to the popular horror indie game Little Nightmares, and it is a horror adventure game where you play as a boy named Mono who is trapped in a nightmare world distorted by a tower transmission. This time around, you have a girl named Six as your guide as you set out to solve the secret of the signal tower. You will be running and hiding from strange terrors as well as solving puzzles as you try to survive this hellish and creepy world. Little Nightmares 2 is looking to be a solid and fun little horror game, and you can check it out when it releases on February 11th. Next up is Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury releasing on February 12th digitally and physically for $59.99. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is easily my most anticipated and hyped game of February. Now I did play 3D World back on the Wii U, but I never did beat it and I don't remember it very well other than the fact that I absolutely loved it. They have added a snapshot mode and collectible stamps and added a new single player adventure called Bowser's Fury which looks so fun and epic. It looks like you're exploring a large area similar to a kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey and looks like a blast. I cannot wait for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury and it is a day one purchase for me and I will be playing through it a lot. Next up on February 12th is Halloween Forever releasing digitally only for $9.99. I'm always on the lookout for games that have the look and feel of an old school NES game and Halloween Forever is one such game. It is a 2D retro style platformer where you play as a pumpkin man fighting his way through five different worlds. Halloween Forever is full of hard bosses, tons of enemies, awesome chip tunes, and more. So get ready to scratch that 8-bit retro itch when Halloween Forever releases on February 12th. Next up is Brutal Rage, releasing on February 16th digitally only for $6.99. Brutal Rage is a side-scrolling beat-em-up featuring six episodes with 18 different locations as you utilize your rage and beat up your enemies. There are three different game modes being Training, Story, and Brutal Club, and three different playable characters, each with their own moves, and you can also use weapons. Every game mode can also be played locally in co-op. Fans of beat em ups get ready for this budget title when Brutal Rage releases on February 16th. Also on February 16th is Fallen Legion Revenants releasing digitally and physically for $49.99 and the physical version actually comes with a bunch of cool extras. 
Fallen Legion Revenants is a fast-paced action RPG that will test your reflexes in real-time battles while you command your squad and destroy your enemies. As you play, you will be able to influence the events of the game in the castle through dialogue options, and each decision you make can impact the game in drastic ways. You will be able to craft potions and other items with your alchemic recipes and also use stealth in the castle to find secrets. Fallen Legion Revenants looks to be a pretty solid RPG, and you can get your hands on it when it releases on February 16th. Next up on February 18th is Anodyne 2 Return to Dust, releasing digitally only for $19.99. In Anodyne 2 Return to Dust, you take on the role of Nova, who sets out to cleanse all the nano dust infecting New Thaland Island. It features a huge scale and a cinematic story and the game is fully 3D inspired by the Zelda games with an art style that captures the look of a retro Nintendo 64 or PS1 and PS2 game. You'll be exploring cities, valleys, wastelands, and more, and even retro pixel art 2D environments that represent the minds of other characters. I played Anodyne 1 and it was a really awesome 2D Zelda-like game, and Anodyne 2 looks even better and it is incredibly intriguing with the art style and some of the gameplay mechanics presented. Anodyne 2 Return to Dust is looking like a really unique and interesting game and I will probably pick this one up when it releases on February 18th. Also on February 18th is Speed Limit, releasing digitally only for $9. 99 and it is a badass looking game. Speed Limit is described as a non-stop genre warping arcade experience that never slows down. It is non-stop action that changes genre often from a side-scrolling shooter to a top-down car chase to a 3D dogfight and more. It is a difficult game and you will die a lot as Speed Limit will really test your reflexes. I highly encourage you to go watch the full trailer after this video because Speed Limit looks like an insanely badass game and I think it will be a day one purchase for me and I will likely stream it when it releases sometime in February. Yet again on February 18th is a game called Cathedral releasing digitally only for $14.99. Cathedral is a 2D Metroidvania with a very 8-bit NES aesthetic and damn it looks amazing. Cathedral features a large large interconnected world with over 600 rooms to explore and a very useful world map to assist with this. The world is handcrafted and packed full of puzzles, secrets, enemies, and bosses. Cathedral features towns, shops, NPCs, and fine-tuned controls with plenty of different moves and abilities. Cathedral is a game that came out of nowhere and I'm honestly incredibly excited for it as I absolutely love games like this and I cannot wait to try it out when it releases on February 18th. Next up is Persona 5 Strikers, releasing on February 22nd, digitally and physically for $59.99. Persona 5 Strikers is an action RPG that uses the combat system from the Warriors games combined with a story from the Persona 5 universe. You will fight your way across Japan on a road trip as you and the Phantom Thieves fight corruption that is taking over Japan. I've been told and read that even though Persona 5 Strikers has the combat of a Warriors game, it does not play like a Warriors game and it plays more like an action RPG. People People really seem to speak highly of it and I cannot wait to check it out when it releases on February 22nd. Next up is Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tassos releasing February 23rd digitally only for $19.99 and there is currently a demo available on the eShop. In Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tassos, you and up to three other players team up locally to take on procedurally generated dungeons as you explore a huge overworld packed with secrets and take down titans. Rogue Heroes has some roguelike elements to it and the art style is fantastic with some Zelda vibes. There are several different character classes to choose from, each with their own unique abilities. Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tassos looks like a very fun game, especially with friends, and I cannot wait to play it when it releases on February 23rd. Next up on February 23rd is Curse of the Dead Gods, releasing digitally only for $17.99. Curse of the Dead Gods is a roguelike action game full of bottomless pits, traps, and monsters to fight. You will need to use your mini weapons, mystical relics, and the environment to survive hordes of enemies and traps. Curse of the Dead Gods is very skill-based as you wield swords, spears, bows, guns, light, and fire, and even curses that are inflicted upon you can be turned to your favor. Curse of the Dead Gods sort of reminds me of Hades, which is not a bad thing at all, and it looks like another amazing roguelike, and you can check it out when it releases on February 23rd. Yet again on February 23rd is Taxi Chaos, releasing digitally for $34.95 or physically for $39.99. Taxi Chaos looks like an insane and over-the-top version of Crazy Taxi, and it is an arcade racing game all about picking up customers and transporting them to their destinations as fast as you can to collect large cab fares. There are seven different taxi cabs to drive as you explore a large city full of New York-inspired areas, and you will be finding shortcuts, doing stunts, bashing your way through traffic, and making insane jumps. Taxi Chaos looks like a stupidly fun time, and it seems like it will really capture that Crazy Taxi feel and 
we can find out when it releases on February 23rd. Next up is Republic releasing on February 25th digitally only for $9.99. Republic is a political thriller with stealth gameplay that takes place over the course of five episodes. You take on the role of Hope as she attempts to escape from a totalitarian state by hacking into the nation's networks to help guide her. You will partake in hacking, stealth, and puzzles as you play through the game. Republic has been out for a while on PC and PS4 and it has very positive reviews, so for $9.99 you're getting a very quality game on Switch when Republic releases on February 25th. Also on February 25th is Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection releasing for $29.99 digitally. I'm not sure if there's going to be a physical release. If you know that, let me know in the description down below. Get ready to break some controllers because Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection is a reboot of the series that looks like a return to form with some modern twists and it really seems to have that old school difficulty the series is known for. You take on the role of a knight named Arthur as he runs, jumps, and fights through several creepy stages in the demon realm. There are countless dangers ahead including traps, obstacles, and of course tons of enemies and it seems to play just like the classic Ghost and Goblins games. Prepare to get angry because Ghost and Goblins Resurrection will likely challenge you when it releases on February 25th. Yet again on February 25th is a game called Hellpoint releasing digitally and physically for $34.99. Hellpoint is a dark, intense, and brutal sci-fi themed action RPG that takes place on a derelict space station called the Irid Nova. The space station is huge and interconnected with tons of hidden passages and secrets for you to find and you can explore it openly. There are over a dozen melee and ranged weapons to wield as well as armor pieces and every weapon has its own special abilities you unlock as you use them. You can also play co-op locally with a friend or online. Hellpoint looks like a badass game that gives me some Bloodborne vibes and you can try it out when it releases on February 25th. And again on February 25th is Wrath Aeon of Ruin releasing digitally only for $24.99. Wrath Aeon of Ruin is a difficult old school style first person shooter game made by 3D Realms, the creators of Duke Nukem 3D, Prey, and Max Payne, and it's already out on Steam with very positive reviews. They have created the game using Quake 1 technology to really give it that old school look and feel of classics like Doom, Quake, and Hexen. You will utilize several powerful weapons and artifacts as you explore crypts, ruins, temples, and forests, killing unimaginable number of enemies. The environments are large and sprawling with many different enemy types to take down as you listen to an amazing soundtrack from musician Andrew Holschult. Wrath Aeon of Ruin looks to be an insanely intense and badass old school style first person shooter game from a studio with a ton of experience and I can't wait to check it out when it releases on February 25th. And we have another game on February 25th called Forward to the Sky releasing digitally for $48.99 or physically through Play Asia for $47.99. Forward to the Sky is a third person action adventure game that takes place in the Sky Tower Ruin. You play as Princess and your goal is to collect all the crystal pieces which will connect the story and reveal everything after you reach the top of the tower. There are monsters to fight, puzzles to solve, and secrets to find. Forward to the Sky doesn't really look like my kind of game, but I could see people enjoying it when it releases on February 25th. Next up is Bravely Default 2 releasing on February 26th digitally and physically for $59.99 and there is a demo available on the eShop at the time of this recording. Bravely Default 2 is a massive RPG adventure where you take on the role of a young sailor and all the friends he meets along the way. As you progress you will be able to customize your team of adventurers and utilize the turn-based battle system with the Brave and Default mechanics. All the good stuff you would expect in an RPG is present here and Bravely Default 2 is shaping up to be a fantastic RPG for Switch owners to dig into when it releases on February 26th. And again on February 26th is Baobab's Mausoleum Grindhouse Edition releasing digitally only for $19.99. I honestly don't know what this game is. I'm seeing gameplay that looks like an old school Zelda game, gameplay that looks like Earthbound, and a turn-based RPG. And even first person gameplay and all of this combined with the weirdness of Baobab's Mausoleum has me very intrigued. You take on the role of an eggplant FBI agent named Watracio Walpurgis in three chapters in an 8-bit adventure through a ghost town that appears every 25 five years called Flamingo's Creek. Yeah, this game is strange, but it looks very interesting and fun as well, so I will be checking out Baobab's Mausoleum Grindhouse Edition when it releases on February 26th. And lastly, we have Capcom Arcade Stadium releasing sometime in February. I was not able to find an exact release date. If you know it, please throw it in the comments down below, and it will be free to download with in-game purchases. Capcom Arcade Stadium is a free download full of Capcom Arcade Classics, and it will include 1940 
1943 The Battle of Midway for free. There are 32 games total, which you can purchase separately or as part of three different packs. Some of the features include the ability to rewind the game, game settings options such as difficulty, starting lives, game speed, and more, save and load your game at any time with save states, several different filter and background options, global rankings, and special challenges every week. Capcom Arcade Stadium is looking to be a really cool package with some awesome games and awesome features, and I will probably buy all the games for it when it releases sometime in February. But there you have it folks, 32 awesome games coming to the Switch in February 2021. Inevitably, there will be even more games coming out that were not announced at the time that I recorded this video. And like I said, February is looking like one of the best months I've seen for the Switch in quite some time. Some of the games that I'm most looking forward to for the Switch in February are Blue Fire, A Ground, Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury, Anodyne 2 Return to Dust, Speed Limit, Cathedral, Ghost and Goblins Resurrection, Wrath Aeon of Ruin, and Capcom Stadium Arcade. But I want to know in the comments down below what games coming out to the switch in february are you most excited for and also let me know in the comments down below if i missed any games that are coming out in february that i should have covered in today's video and if you enjoyed this video please be sure and hit that like button and if you're new here consider subscribing so that you can join the retro wolf family and as always folks stay safe out there keep playing games and having a good time and i'll see you all in the next video later